the leaders of the two countries at this time have a special obligation to work out what I would define as principles of coexistence. How can two societies that have a substantially different history, confrontation that might lead to conflict and even military action must be avoided and a better world needs to be built. Each side should make efforts to start a dialogue by which they can understand fully the core interests of the other side and to act in a manner respectful of these concerns by which the two sides can talk to each other without threat. And so that the great qualities of each of our countries can be used in a exchange that is based on lasting peace for our countries and for the rest of the world.